Hey everybody, it's Mr. Luce, and today we're gonna learn about shapes from negative space, space, space. Okay, so we all know the difference between positive and negative. Positive means it is physically there, negative means you're taking away, right? So with art, positive would be something that takes up space. So this pen is taking up space when I place it on the paper, right? But everything around it would be the negative space. So the same thing applies to this stool. I drew a stool and the actual stool itself is taking up space. It is taking up the area, the matter. It is physically there, even though it's a drawing. And then everything around or in between the stool is negative space because there is nothing there. So what we're gonna um, dive into is I want you to think not so much about the positive space that an object is taking up, all right? Don't think about what is physically there, but think about how that object interacts with the area around it and pay close attention to that negative space and creating shapes from those negative spaces. So I've outlined the shapes in the negative space of the stool. So we've got this little pentagon here and here. We've got these shapes here that look kind of like candy corns. We have these funky looking uh, squares here. And then we've got some rounded triangles here, okay? So these are shapes that we have found in the negative space of our stool. So with those shapes, I want you to think and look at this differently in how you can create a piece of art. So with these shapes, we're going to create a piece of art separately inspired by those. All right, so I've got, I'm gonna draw this one. And let's see here. I've got the triangle, rounded triangle we're gonna go. And these can be representational. They can be abstract. I'm gonna make mine just a little more abstract. I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna turn it. Okay, just kind of planning out. All right, let's do this other rounded triangle. Let's do it. I'm gonna repeat it. Use the same ones more than once, all right? And then I kind of have like a base idea of what I want to create. Or maybe you wanna go something more representational, or maybe you wanna make a pattern. Those are all different ideas that you can do. But what I want you to try is to create a piece of art using the negative space that um, creates these shapes. What can you do with that? So that is your challenge for today.